So Node.js 23 is released and it comes with a couple of interesting things which I want to talk about in this video, in this blog post, which is by Node.js team. Let's take a look at what this is and how this gets one more bun feature under their bucket. So Node.js 23, the new version is here. And in this video, I want to discuss about new things which are there in this specific version. So if you see this blog post, of announcing Node.js version 23, you're going to see that there are few very interesting features right out of the bat, which is the first one is enabling require ESM by default. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is one of the biggest pain points that Bun solved, right? So what happens is if I give you an example, for example, consider this where you have an index.ts file like this and you have a hello.ts file like this. Right. So when you have something like this, where you can see that you are importing something and then you are exporting the same function, obviously, you know, like what to expect when you run this file, you will just get hello world. However, if you have something like this, where you want to mix and match import and require. Now, the reason you might want to do that is because some of the modules which you created are in common JS format. Some of them are in ESM format. So if you have used JavaScript for like, you know, sometime you know that this is a very common error, error where you try to use when you try to use require inside of ES modules, it doesn't work, right? So just a quick example for this specific example. So in this specific Stack Overflow question, you can see that the package in questioning is the node fetch package, which apparently just stop doesn't working uh, with common JS format because the higher versions only use ESM, which causes a lot of errors. So what ESM and common JS is, if you don't know the these are like two module resolution formats in JavaScript, how you can import and modularize your application. But both of them, when Node.js came up with ESM, ECMAScript modules, they tried to make it non-compatible with require format, right? But what that made was impossible for older packages to completely shift to ESM and created a split because now packages like NodeFetch, for example, when they try to actually go ahead and do what is recommended by Node.js, it breaks a lot of people's code base because then they start asking these questions that why I'm not able to require this module, right? So this is a big thing that Bun solved because what Bun allowed you to do is do something like this, which is which looks like a very weird syntax but what it makes sure is that you are able to use packages inside your ESM code base which are also common JS right so this might not be relevant for you but it is relevant if you are writing a library which uses like mix and match of writing a project which uses mix and match of libraries from common JS and ESM worlds the only exception to this rule is top level await you can't require a file that uses top level await since require function is inherently synchronous this is the same thing for node.js also when they have in inside node.js 23 with this feature you still cannot use top level await right so support for loading native es modules using require has been available on 20 version and 22 under the command line flag but in 23 this is enabled by default so this has been taken out of the command line flag you can see that with this feature enabled node.js will no longer throw an error require esm if the require is used to load a es module it can however throw an error require async module if the es module being loaded or its dependencies contain top level await which again Again, like neither bun supports nor node.js supports when the es module is loaded successfully by require the return object will be es module namespace object similar to what is returned by import and can be checked using the util dot is module namespace object so this is a very welcome change because even even if the feature was behind a flag it's not trivial to enable these for example let's say if you are using a service provider like lambda right where it just runs your application directly so once lambda ships with node 24 or whatever later then this would automatically start working in those environments as well and you can see that node.js also would you know fix any bugs or regressions if they find and they will backport the unflagged version to version 22 also so it's not like you have to wait for version 24 for it to be available inside runtimes like lambda it would be available in version 22 itself another change which is obviously welcome is that node dash dash run is now stable so you see that node earlier if you want to run commands like this you have to do like npm test or yarn test or pnpm test or whatever now node is also shipping with its own ability to run scripts inside package.json which is with the dash dash flag right so now instead of using npm run something or whatever you can just use node itself so it just saves you one little headache that you need to remember the package which you're using i mean for the most part you would remember it anyway but still like most package managers also support doing that so you know bun also supports it so i'm assuming like node added it for that this by the way is you can see that it's 
introduced, the stabilizing is introduced in the version 23, but it is backported to version 22 as well. So how Node.js works is that there are certain LTS versions, right, which get these supports of backporting and bringing stable features to their own, you know, version as well. So you can see now that node dash dash run is, although it's the stable version is marked in version 23, you can still access it in version 22, right? So that's pretty much it for this release. I think these were the only two major things. And out of that also, like this one is a bigger thing where you are able to run the async mix and match the common JS and ESM modules. Let me know what you think about this. That's all for this one. I will see you in the next video really soon.